Hey ladies, welcome back. The topic of today's discussion is seven goals to set in your 30s. Before we get started, I wanna make this clear. There is no specific rubric of goals that you need to hit in your 30s, but there is a direction in which we should be heading. With that being said, I'm not making this video to make anyone feel bad, but I am making this video to help you get on your stuff, stay on your stuff, and remain about your business. Let's get started. Number one, the first goal that you should set in your 30s is putting more than the bare minimum into your 401k and your Roth IRA. In your 20s, it was okay to contribute that $25 or that $30 a month. But in our 30s, you know, we're really trying to set ourselves up for retirement. We're another decade closer to being able to pull out that money. Therefore, we really want to put in as much as we can to get the maximum return on investment. Number two, your network is your net worth. In our 30s, we should be focused on expanding our network. Avoid sticking to the same old friends that you had in college, in high school, or just in your 20s altogether. In our 30s, we should be setting a goal to build up beneficial acquaintances, such as accountants, lawyers, police officers, planners, bankers, realtors, teachers. Now is the time to start developing our teams. You never know when you're gonna need a good accountant to help you get that maximum return on your taxes. You never know when you're gonna need a friend who's a part of the sheriff department to get you out of those tickets. You never know when you're gonna need a good realtor in Los Angeles, Dallas, Atlanta. Developing professional relationships is a critical part of our 30s because these relationships will potentially benefit you throughout the rest of your life. So go to these networking events. Do not be afraid to reach out to people on Instagram. Do not be afraid to put yourself out there and, you know, say what you do and promote your professional career. Even if you have a small business, even if you're an entrepreneur, it does not matter. Building these relationships are still very vital. Number three, we are never too successful, too old, or too wise to have a mentor. Some of the greatest, most wealthiest people in the world have had mentors, including Oprah, who was mentored by Maya Angelou, including Obama, who was mentored by Michelle Obama, including Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and even Aristotle. No matter what your level of success is, it is still important for us to have mentors. So go and seek out someone who's in the position that you would want to be in, who has all of the accolades and accomplishments accomplishments that you will want for yourself and try to reach out to them, try to learn from them, study them, look at the relationships that they have, take note of how they treat people, take note of what schools they went to and ask them how they got to where they are now and try to apply that blueprint to your life. Number four, in our 30s, we have to be focused on clearing out debt. By now, a lot of us have racked up student loans, car payments, mortgages, and even a few bills from luxury items and vacations that we knew we could not afford. If we want a comfortable retirement, ladies, we have to start focusing on clearing out debt. Try not to accumulate anymore and pay those credit cards down, pay that car note off, try to snowball it. Someone that I highly recommend is Tony Robinson. He himself is one of the best financial gurus out there and through reading his books and watching his videos I myself was able to clear out all of my debt so stay focused ladies and remember there is light at the end of the tunnel number five in our 30s we should be doubling down on our career point blank period I know in our 20s a lot of us struggled with doubt you know am I mature enough to take on this role am I smart enough do I have enough experience and we still do have these thoughts well into our 30s well into our 40s but what's different in this era in our life is that this is the building period we are building everything up in life including our careers so go for that promotion go for that raise go further your education do an online extension program, whatever you need to do, whatever you need to do to get ahead in your career, in your business, you need to be exhausting every single option. Number six, date strategically. Now this goal is catered towards those who see themselves getting married or starting a family in the next few years. If that pertains to you, then in your 30s you must date strategically. By this I mean you should be vetting a lot more carefully and cutting your losses quickly. 
and make sure that you are vetting their job history, you know, their family background, their goals. Do they see themselves having a family within the next five years? Do they see themselves getting married? Do they carry a similar vision for themselves? If not, quickly move on to the next. Also, I know as we get older, we tend to get a lot more frantic and we loosen up our boundaries and settle down with just anyone because we want a family. This is a bad idea because these are the people who end up miserable in their marriage. They end up divorced within three years. And the worst case is that we end up with a child who has to grow up and live in a dysfunctional household, all because we were impatient. So ladies, vet, 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 And do not settle just because you want that family. Do not get married just because you want to carry that title. Trust me on this. And you will thank yourself down the line when you're in that healthy, thriving relationship or marriage. And number seven, set a goal to do the spiritual work, the spiritual healing that you need. By now, we've all been through some sort of trauma. Rather, it has been with our parents, with our spouses, with our jobs, our career, or even just inner battles that we are fighting. If this pertains to you, I strongly advise that you take time out to seek therapy, to read books, to do that inner healing, because if not, those demons will keep following you until you face them. Face whatever it is that's keeping you up at night. Try to clear the air when it comes to past family trauma, disagreements. I'm not saying you have to be buddy-buddy with these people. I'm not saying you have to act as if it didn't happen. I'm not saying that you have to act as if you were not hurt or deeply affected. But what I am saying is that you need to come to terms with these things so that you can move on. Keeping that trauma, that tension, that depression pants up inside of you will only magnify itself down the line and can cause sickness, it can cause aging, and it can cause you to just spiral down that black hole. So take the time out now to just get the help that you need, the healing that you need, so that you can move forward with the rest of your life. All right, ladies, so those were my seven goals to set in your 30s. If there's a goal that you set for yourself in your 30s and you want to share, please drop it down below so that we can all benefit from it. And please let me know what you'd like to see next. This actually was a video suggestion that I was very excited to do. As usual, thank you for your unwavering support, and I'll see you on my next one. And ladies, remember, our 30s is about building, building up our wealth, our relationships, our networks, our friendships, our families. So keep stacking those blocks and continue to plant those seeds.